Hey guys, Jim, aka Nomadic Med Hunter, here again with another quick tip on how to do a spore print for mushrooms. Uh, just went done, I just got done with a, going on a little hiking trip, and I picked up a lot of other stuff, and I wanted to collect some for myself. But here I got some birch polypore, rishi, and purple guy. This one, I believe, has white spores, so I'm going to put it on a green background. The Rishi is going to be on the white because they usually are brown. And the purple, I'm not too sure on exactly if it's darker color, lighter color. Hopefully, it's going to be a darker color because I'm putting it on the white one. <laughs> but what you do is you take the stem off. Now, this is really, really good for uh, trying to identify it. So you take the stem off, and you just place it right there. Get out of your bug. <laughs> place it there, and just let it. Usually if you put like a plastic cover over it, so no wind and current can get through it, or like air current, to blow the spores away, just leave it like this. Um, you put it in a closet like I usually do. I'm just going to actually bring this into my room, put it in a closet. And then I can check on it in the morning. They say you can probably check in about six hours or so, but you know why not just wait till the next day? Get back to you and show you what it looks like. Hey guys, all right. So it's the next day, and it's the afternoon on this beautiful October first, blue sky, hot day in New Jersey, and I'm pretty grateful for. However, the one spore print didn't go too well with one of the rishis. Uh, I think it's because if you watch the other video about the hiking. It was the one I used that was already off of a tree that fell over. So it was probably just laying there for maybe a couple more days. But it's okay. But for the purple one, it worked. So this is what it looks like. This one didn't work. Those aren't spores. But this is. So... They just print out. I smudged it a little bit on the way down stairs. Sorry. I got lucky for the purple one that has brown spores, so now I can go and further figure out what it is and identify it. If you don't have white paper or dark paper, you don't know what color the spores are going to be. It's easier actually to put it on a sheet of glass or uh, plexiglass or something, and then you can transfer the the glass over a light shade or a dark color and you can see the spore better but right now all I have is paper and that's what I used and it worked so I'm happy another good thing is you can also do this on your clothes if you want to carry it somewhere for some things just look at Paul Stamet and he'll explain all that for you um, but it's pretty cool and maybe also for like a little artwork I might actually start doing this on a piece of paper and just kind of putting it kind of like a mushroom spore print collage I don't know I'll see and I have fun with it you know so have fun and make art help identify yeah there's multiple uses so all you gotta do is just take it cut the stem off put it on top of a piece of paper cover it from the wind let it set for up, to, you know, just let it overnight and it should work. And perfect. Have a good day. Please subscribe, like my video, comment. If you know what it is, let me know. <laughs> See ya.